I'm going to be showing you how to make a mesh that is ready to put into uh, Lens Studio's cloth, cloth physics engine. Um, so I'm going to spend a little time just showing you how to make the mesh in Blender. I'm not going to go in depth or anything because one, I'm not an expert at Blender. I recently moved over from Maya and two, because there's plenty of other really good tutorials out there. So on uh, Snapchat's website, and I'll link it in the description, you can find this uh, basic human mesh that is their scaling, and we'll use that to scale our uh, our outfit skirt. Uh, so here we want to make sure this is a multiple. We're going to add a cylinder and make sure this is a multiple of three. So I'll do 24, sounds good, um, for a quick skirt. Go into edit, uh, can turn my normals off, and I'm going to grab the top and bottom and just delete that really quickly. Um, grab the top loop, size it down to the waist that you want. And bring this size up to the bottom, or wherever you want the skirt to hit. Um, go up to the top view and we're going to select um, vertices, we're going to select every two vertices on the bottom of the skirt and skipping one in between like this. This is a little bit tedious, if anyone knows a better way to do this let me know, like I said I am not great at Blender. When you have this, uh, come back out and then you'll size it out. And you can also bring it up. Uh, feel free to like adjust this in any way you want. I like adding a loop cut and then bringing it in like so. Um, there's lots of different ways you can adjust this. Now it's at looking kind of choppy, so I will add uh, a subdivision just to smooth it out and shades. <laughs> shade smooth. Um, this is not where I would stop if I was actually making this for a lens, but. For the tutorial's sake, this is fine. Uh, I'll go back in, apply, th apply this, and then grab, or just set a seam. Mark seam. Uh, you do need to unwrap this for the lighting to work in Lens Studio, but um, it doesn't need to be a great unwrap. I'm just going to have it do it. There, that's a pretty bad unwrap, but it, well, it's fine. Uh, go back to layout. So, and then we're gonna go back into editing. We're gonna grab the vertices on the bottom loop. We're going to go into vertex paint. Um, go click this thing to see the vertices, and then we're going to uh, shift K. And I like adding one on the bottom back to uh, edit mode, grab the vertices on the top, go back to vertex paint, and you should usually make these something like one of the RGB values because they're easy to find once you're in uh, Lens Studio. And do the top. This one makes it so that it stays around the object, and this one is to make sure it maintains its shape. Uh, so once you've done that, I believe it's ready to go into Lens Studio. There would be a lot of other steps I would normally take, but again, I'm just gonna show you how to do this on a very basic level. Export as an FBX. Uh, you want to just make sure selected at objects so you're not importing everything. And then this is important, you want to hit Apply Transform. Actually, I should probably go back and, just in case, Apply Transform in here, and then Export and make sure this is still applied. Okay, and then we are going to go into Lens Studio. For uh, speed, I'm just going to use this template, it's already set up, I can delete all these off ones, um, bring in the FBX file, uh, make sure that import vertex color is checked. Um, I am not sure about the other ones, but just make sure the top one is checked. Um, then we want to go into here, 
drag this in here um, and you can see it's sort of working but we want to go into vertex bindings and change the first one to red add a second one uh, go into alpha make sure that is full green is also full uh, drag this here and check 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 um, from there your mesh is ready to add whatever um, material you want it to be. So it's definitely too shiny. I forget that always that the Uber PBR does not actually work. Uh, at least in this current version of, of uh, Lens Studio. But you can change the color and yeah. You can also go into here, change the way that it's flowing, uh, if you want it to be more or less um, like loose, you can change that. You can go back into Blender and change where the uh, where you made these like guides so that if you want it, the bottom to be more flowy, you can move it to a different um, different ring if you want. So yeah, that's how to add it, uh, make a physics cloth-based skirt in Lens Studio. Uh, I hope that helped.